It's four o'clock. I have a flight I'm leaving at 5.30. Damn, I'm ugly right now. Sheesh. This is the beauty of living in a city with a small airport. I like pushing the envelope when it comes to flights sometimes. So uh, I'm probably get to the airport about mm, 4.55. So join me on this adventure. It's also Cammie's last day at work. She quit her job. She quit her job. That's what you call burning the bridges. We all in now. We're going full speed ahead. Happy last day of indentured servitude, baby. Oh, yeah. This is your last day of work. Yay. Get up, girl. We got to catch this flight. You're going to make me miss my flight. Why not? I can't see. Yeah. There's no bricks finished t-shirts on there. Listen, let me hold her pillow. Kimmy, you're the best. You, she packed she packed my stuff so nice. Don't go! I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm so excited. Does it look like it's four in the morning? Um. Four twenty-four. There we go. It's four twenty-six. It takes probably about 15, 20 minutes to get to the, to the airport. I'm really pushing it, D. Is he running? It's 4.43, boarding starts at 4.50. Gotta go. Oh, my phone. Huh? Alright. Love you too. Made it look, it's 452 and I made it through TSA. Flight is on time. And this is why I don't show up at the airport two hours early or an hour early like they suggest. Cause it's overkill. So I never told y'all why I'm flying up this morning. I'm actually on my way to Wisconsin on business. Uh I just hope it's not 20 degrees. Did you, did you want us to kind of stand together and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> you too. So I made it. I didn't rush to the airport. I'm here. You know, when I travel, I stay in the nicest of the nicest. Like the two and a half star Radisson Hotel. You feel it me? <laughs> you know, I got that cherry red thing. You see that cherry red thing over there in the corner? They ain't ready for that. <sighs> Hello. That's what I need. Dimitri, some smoking. Pet policy and just sign at the bottom, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. I took a quick nap. Nah, not really. I really just laid here and watched two episodes of House Hunters, but that's equivalent to a nap for me. I just thought I'd take this moment to um, 
reintroduce myself to the people who are familiar with the channel but to the tens and thousands of people who have recently subscribed um just wanted to take a second to first of all thank you guys for supporting the channel and for watching these videos that i don't know where they come from but i create I just want to say thank you for that. A quick introduction to who I am. Um, how, do, what do, how do I describe myself? I'm a fitness professional. Best friend to my best friend, Candice. I'm a dad. I'm just a man with a passion for helping people and I have a certain, a very unique lust for life. I used to be morbidly obese. I was 360 pounds at my heaviest. Borderline diabetic, I had high blood pressure to works. And I found my, my passion and my purpose and a lot of other things through my journey to uh, fitness and I like to say that my transformation that happened on the inside in my head and in my heart um, is far more extreme than the than the transformation that happened on the outside of my body and I just want to share the wellness with with everyone I learned a lot along the way and I just want to share because I and I'm still learning I'm still getting jewels every single day. I feel like God is using me as a vessel to, to, to just be an inspiration to people and to just show them that no matter what your background is, because I have a very harsh background, man. I have, I've been through a lot. I've experienced a lot of life that you can, you can do whatever you put your mind to. And I know that sounds cliche, but like I'm in Wisconsin, like I'm in Wisconsin right now in the middle of America on a business trip. Like that's unheard of. If you, if you would have said that to me last year, I'd have said, hey, there's no way. Like for what? Even though, I mean, it's not a big deal, it's Wisconsin, but the fact that I'm traveling on business, doing things that I love and speaking to people and, and changing people's lives, like this, this was, this was like a dream to me. And it's now my reality. Like I make a living doing something I love to do. And I just want you to know that that's possible for you. Figure it. Figure out what it is. Like when God decided to create you, figure out why. Why? Why is it that He wanted to create you? That's the first thing. Figure that out. Once you figure that out, the rest is up to you because you have a void to fill. God put you here to fill a void. So figure out what that void is and go hard at it and create the life that you that you can only imagine by putting making your life about helping people. In some way, in some way, whatever your passion is, whatever it is that you love to do, it's something that can possibly add value to someone's life. And if you can add value to people's lives, then you can build an amazing life for yourself. Madison, Wisconsin, yeah. boy. Dude, I hear it humming, boy. I hear it humming. 